Welcome to the new Inclusive Story. From the beginning of the project, we've heard great stories of wonderful people. But there is this one person whose story has been anticipated by many people. And this person is simply legendary. First in energy, professionalism and making an impact in many people's lives. Can you guess who this person is? Hi, I'm Shanti Raghun, founder and managing trustee of Enable India. Yes, this is Shanti Raghavan, who in 1999 founded Enable India, an organization with a mission to empower people with disabilities. Shanti believes that people with disabilities do not need sympathy. They require the right environment to grow and fulfill their needs, potential and dreams. What made this brilliant professional with 12 years experience in the software industry leave her job in the United States and come back to India to start empowering people with disabilities? This goes a little way back when uh, my brother, who was, uh, you know, was around 15, started growing visually impaired because of uh, retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, so he started gradually growing blind. Uh, I was at that time in the US and what I did was I called him over to the US because you know, I, I, mean, I wanted him to have fun, of course, and uh, at the same time, I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, help him out. So the first time he came over, we actually, uh, he had a little vision. So we went and enjoyed ourselves. You know, we went to Niagara Falls and whatever he could see, you know, we did that. I called him again after he really lost his uh, vision. I mean, it was very little. Bit. So that time, uh, I thought, hey, if he cannot see, he can do. So what we did was we did a lot of adventure activities. So we went, uh, you know, swimming, uh, snorkeling in the middle of the ocean. We went uh, kayaking. Uh, we went uh, cycling. You know, uh, hot air ballooning. So everything, any ing, we did it. You know? So you know, uh, you name an ing and we did it. So we had a lot of fun. And after that, I helped him with the screen, did the software, and you know, because he needed to study, etc. You know, he was uh, doing his MBA. There were a lot of struggles. I used to go down, fly down to Bombay teach him the screen reader or how to use the internet because as an MBA student he really has to access and do a lot, you know, libraries, research work, you know, so many things like that. Uh, but after that, uh, I felt he was enabled. But the question is, what about the others in India? I didn't know all these statistics, you know, 70 million disabled. I mean, I, I don't know whether I would have gone into this otherwise, <laughs> right? You know, all you know is, hey, I helped somebody, but India is a land of my brothers and sisters. You know, we, we used to have that pledge before, right? So what are you doing about the others? So that is why I wanted, you know, uh, Deepesh and myself, we wanted to help others or enable them. At the same time, if you just go and say, tell somebody, hey, uh, I'll help you, they'll say, who are you? You know, so that's why we started Enable India, thinking that as an NGO, we will be able to help others. But at that time, I was thinking of doing it only on a part-time basis. I was holding a regular full-time job, and uh, you know, but at least Enable India was started for uh, enabling people for their economic independence and more importantly, the dignity that they should get. Today, Shanti, together with Enable Indians, have helped hundreds of differently abled people to get confidence, find jobs and become independent. Students come from all parts of India to get this unique experience that Enable India provides. Yeah, actually after coming here, really, we have overcome our frustrations. Main thing, we have overcome our frustrations. Apart from computer training, even they are empathizing us. Even they are empowering us. On every Saturdays, we do some special activities like uh, how to uh, serve water. It may be it looks like very small thing, but how to serve water. We have served it and uh, practically we did it here. So, and uh, that uh, increases our confidence level. Even we can do that. So even uh, in everything, main thing is our confidence level is going uh, up day by day. What advice would you give to visually impaired people who are looking for a job or who want to look for a job in the next few years? Uh, especially if they have time. Uh, first and foremost, I would actually ask them to go and get as many experiences they can in the world. First and foremost. I mean, the usual thing I should say is learn about the skills and attitude required for getting a job, blah, blah, blah. They know it. You know, our visually impaired folks are smart. That's not the, uh, you know, so what is the, uh, what is the thing that is going to hold them back? I'm assuming they will go and get the right education. They will try to get the right skills and attitude. Everybody knows English is important, so let's forget that. 
when you really want to integrate in a company, when you want to go for an interview, what is going to be the barrier for the visually impaired? It's very simple. You know, the range of experiences that you and I have, you know, we went out with friends, we networked, we tweeted, we did this, we did that. That normal experiences, if a person with visual impairment can get, because they may not be able to get that, right? Uh, you know, they might have been, um, you know, they're very cut off from people. It could, there are many circumstances. But if they can just go, go, you know, go buy a vegetable, you know, have you gone and bought medicines for your family? You know, have you gone to a grocery store uh, or, or have you gone to a mall? Have you gone and cho chosen something, you know, no, I don't like this, I want this. You know, just general things that are done. All these experiences help you tomorrow for many things. It could be for decision making, for interacting with people, for going through pains that we all go through, right? You know, go to a post office, go here, go there. So actually that's the first thing I would say and last thing, you know, let's leave that advice. Do this and come back, I'll tell you more. <laughs> Like I feel Enable India is my parent, that's it, I can't like, I always keep telling, I stay here but my heart's beating Enable India, makes it Enable Build the next generation of people with disabilities who are confident, assertive, smart and independent. This is the goal of Enable India. I'm a very patriotic Indian actually and I feel uh, a better India being powered by persons with disability. Means for me, I want, when a person with vision impairment, because that's the, you know, people cannot imagine that a visually impaired really can work well and all that. When that person with vision impairment uses a scan, goes around, he's having his iPod in his ear or something like that, walking with a scan really coolly, going to office, working with dignity, really contributing his, his or her best. And because of that, according to me, everybody else uh, is going to say that, what am I doing? my potential. I should do better. And because of that, the bar in India gets raised and more and more folks start working to their potential and then we'll have good roads, we'll have everything good. Right? Because if every person does to the best of their potential, if they're always trying to do better with respect to quality or their work, then we'll have an awesome India, right? So, according to me, when people with vision impairment, people with disability work fantastically, then what's going to happen to India? We'll rock. That's all. <laughs> For sure. If you want to listen to more inclusive stories, go to inclusiveplanet.com slash stories.